I'm just going to dive right in. Balls diving, deep. Cow I, now, I, cow. There, I want to keep it a little structured. Unique more than normal. New York. But yet, we The Human Torch was denied time. a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, I need to practice that. Watch more movies. You ready to go? I, th- I think so. I'm probably Man, we've sure. been going we're for going. like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, we, we've already started a while you're ago. You're on board. Oh, I know. You're waiting for this. You're uh, official. This is Off Color Discussions. I'm your host, Joe B. Sit with me, my man, Billy C. What's up? You'll notice that I am on the other side of the table because this is how we're rocking shit, so get ready. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Smoke Proper. Go to smokeproper.com. I did do a little bit of research today, and my bad. It's not tank tops for the ladies, but they do have ladies' tees, and I was wrong about the hats. I just really want oh, a hat. Not with the, the hats. SP. So, no hats. No hats, sir. No hats, none at uh, all. I'm hoping that maybe I can throw out a product design and be like, Someday. bro, hook it up. But Someday. they they do have lady shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts for the gentlemen, and you can get the vintage where they had the red. Did that just fall. You just lost camera too. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. We're off to a swimming start. Whoa. Well, time, time out. Time out. Time out. No, you're fine. Technical <laughs> difficulties <laughs> live. It's all good, man. Just pause the game. Yeah, we'll just pause. Technical difficulties right off the bat. This is not a good start. No, it's a great start, man. It's a start. <laughs> it's a start. That's right. We're still we're still talking. That's what matters. The mic didn't blow up, so that's... Fair enough. Too much of me on there. My camera too. Well, you know, yeah, they, they, you yeah, find yourself in chaos, guy. right? Billy feels mm-hmm. the same. I way. said you find yourself in yeah, chaos. And that's better. Right. Yeah. This Actually, is chaos. This is not chaos. Come on, oh, this, this is not chaos. No, this this just went to chaos. No, but it's all right because it's live. This is I this can, is Billy's fear right this here. Is Look, it. we got that's it out of the happened, way. Man. So we'll we'll get into. Uh, for those that don't know who Troy is, <laughs> Troy's been with us since the beginning. He's been our most featured guest. Yes. And he's seen the transition. So it's yes. all right to get a little chaotic right now. Look, it's, look at the we're next just gonna step. we're just gonna have fun and, and you'll be all weird. right. We're gonna get weird tonight. So <laughs> oh, it's getting weird. It's gonna get weird, weird. So, for a little while now, yeah. Yeah. So uh like I said, go to smoke proper, use O C D at time and check out, save yourself ten percent. Uh this is episode is also brought to you by Connie Construction. If you email Mike, dude. If you got some project on your house, man, I'll come hook it up. Cool. He does great work. Yes, some sir. Really nice stuff. You can go to carnaconstruction 110com and email that at gmail.com, and you'll be good to go. Uh, this episode is also brought to you by the beer store. I know we took a we took a challenge. We, we made it the nine days. We we you made. It wasn't that. even nine, really. It was, it was like it was like eight point <laughs> ten. Well, like no, because I'm pretty sure both neither one of us really drank the day before, so. No, nah, I mean I had some whiskey and uh, a, a couple of beers. So we'll we'll call it nine so, days. We put the good effort in. It was there. I like but we're not talking about that. We already had I'm just that. Saying. Hey, so moving on. Uh, uh, moving so on. Moving on up. we went back to the beer store. They hooked us up with Lagunitas, they miss the you? Waldo's special air. I I think so, Mike. Uh, what, like I said, you like perked up like, oh hey man, what's up? It's like, <laughs> what's up, dude? How you doing? I haven't it's, seen you in over a week. <laughs> yeah, like it's been over. Well, no, for him it was a month because we yeah. were doing barley and hops. So we had we had other stuff rolling, but they're check them out in Nashville. You can go in, dude. Mark will. I asked them what to get. I asked them about these Waldos right here because I saw them on their Facebook page. They're pretty danky. Yeah, it's eleven point three percent. Whoa! Sorry, I should have told you that. The yeah, I love the Laguanitas. <laughs> I good. know, but they All are. Of them. Uh, it's actually got a good story on it. Camera two, low battery. All right. We're off the. All right, no, we're we're not we're even good. on camera two yet. We're right. It's, it's staying up, so the other camera's right behind you. Relax, I got it covered. It's all uh, good, ahead, baby. <laughs> So in 1971, the Waldos met one afternoon at 419. Yep. That's to right. not be late. So they set out in a 66 Impala armed with a treasure map on a journey to find a spot near Point Reyes. I don't know where that is. They never found the spot, but they kept looking. The dankest and hoppiest beer ever brewed at Lagunitas was made with the help of the Waldos for all the treasure hunters. And we're searching for treasure, sir. I think we might have found one. This is I think you just made good. all that up, didn't you? No, it really says it on the bottom, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Lagunitas, dude. It's, they, they're a good beer. Cool, man. I've yeah, definitely they... embraced beer, and I feel not ashamed because I know we did get some flack first, dropping it early. But you know what? A week sucks, man. I want to drink. I, I, I know it's a problem, but <laughs> I wanted a beer. 
I thought we were moving on. And I, I'm getting there. Uh, okay. But so we called off Monday. I just wanted. Did you drink Tuesday? No. No, me neither. Right. No. But I felt like a weight was lifted. <laughs> I went where, home. Where I went home and like, had a beer. I wasn't stressed out about thinking yeah. that I couldn't have one. That's awesome, dude. So like. Yeah, After for that, sure. Like, so habits, I don't, I don't, right? I don't need to. Yeah. I don't need to do it all the time, but like, at least break a cycle here and yeah, there. Yeah, man. So I have a rule for when it comes to like empowering habits, because you hear all these people selling empowering habits, and that's that if it's in your life and it becomes a detriment to your existence, get rid of it. So if not drinking becomes so stressful that you're possibly going to have a beer, <laughs> have a beer, man. Right. Because you're stressing about it. It's not a good thing at that point. You know, it's the same thing I talk about with meditation. If you're not meditating or praying and you're stressed about the fact that you haven't been meditating or praying, is that really empowering? No, probably Exactly. Not. I mean, when you Thanks. put it that way, I feel a little bit better about dropping out. Damn. <laughs> talking oh. about, oh, talk about yourselves. What, from high school? No, no, no. Oh, dropping out, out, of the, about, dropping out of the challenge. We just go deep back like no, 20 no, no, years. No, 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 <laughs> what just no, no, happened, man? No, I didn't drop out of Dude, high school. who cares no, about no, a little challenge about challenge. alcohol, man? Like, I mean, I, I was a little disappointed in myself because I know I could have made it the 30 days. For sure. It was just... I just kept getting hit over the head with craft beer week. <laughs> it's national the beer testing, day. Man. You know, the Bruins are starting the playoffs on Thursday. Oh, <sighs> right, right. So you found a bunch of reasons. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not making excuses yeah. like somebody. Sounds like you're making excuses, bro. <laughs> Some, you go, on Monday, he's like, uh, you know, it's not that I, I need it. I just, I want it. And I'm, I mean, back. I hey, appreciate man. it, but bro, at the end of the day, you, you don't have to justify anything, man. Yeah, you no. drink beer, you're an adult. It's all good. Like, no one's judging you for drinking beer, you know? No, but it, it, I don't. <laughs> I was more worried about catching flack from Dude, uh, whatever, you know, the people man. we we preached about. <laughs> like we're going alcohol free, and then everybody's like, "Yeah, go fuck yourself. We're not in on it." <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. It was definitely good. But yeah, like I say, Troy Rathke, owner of CrossFit Earn, Vision Quest West, whatever, you, wherever you're at with that. If you haven't listened to those, go back and listen to them, dude. It, that is a crazy story. <laughs> yeah, like and. Yeah. Uh, Truly, it sounded very life changing. Yeah, man, for sure. So for sure, and you helped us kick this off. You were our second guest, and then at when we changed it one way, you were like the first guest for that, and mm. now yeah, yeah, man, it's he's been through every evolved and I watched it. And it's pretty rad, man. I'm pretty proud of you guys. Looks awesome here. How's the gym? The gym is great, man. The gym is really great right now. We have uh, we're in the middle of this week four of a new challenge where we got 30 new people at the gym. And out of those 30 people, 26 of them are over 50 years old. That's awesome. And they are changing their world right now. And it's so much fun to be a part of. Yeah, Kristen actually busted my balls about that last week, saying some people uh, were younger than 50. But, but lied There's about because she was she was saying like oh you know you we just did this program yeah I was you should like, get on the next one I'm not that I'm not that old <laughs> she yeah. was well yeah she was telling you that you were basically starting I'm to look old. like a medicine ball and I mean you, that's I mean that's a little excessive <laughs> no that's did you guys arm wrestle more like the wall wrestle? ball it's like listen you're talking shit let's arm wrestle oh no if I, I win you stop kick his ass. yeah <laughs> all right cool yeah with my little noodle arms <laughs> it's all good man. That's why we exist. That's why CrossFit exists, man. Come work on your biceps. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like, shit, damn it. <laughs> well, no, I saw... I, I'll buy you a dumbbell for Christmas. <laughs> there was a joke I just heard. Uh, do, have you watched the stand-up thing on Comedy Central? I've seen the, the, two of them. The season two? Yeah. You know, so you watched so the I, first episode with the little skinny dude? Yeah, Talking his, about his, at the gym when you go back and forth. Like when you press and somebody's standing over you, yeah. and, it's, and it's like you're basically just looking at their dick until until they switch, and you're kind of just feel insecure about yourself. That shit's hilarious. If you if you don't watch it, I have watch no it. idea what you guys are talking about. Netflix, Netflix. Oh, stand up. On, uh, no, on Netflix they have a, a series. Is I don't know even yeah, how you would classify it. A series? E- yeah, each episode's a different comic, a and they basically of of stand up. <laughs> uh, a bunch of like people trying to make it, and they're good. Uh, some of them are better than others, but the kid that he's talking about—I forget his name—he was the first one on season two. Uh, all all denim, all, all denim. denim. Like, and at little first he's a little weird, kid. but he, I mean, he he definitely brought it uh, by the end. Not that I've ever done comedy, so I should critique it, but <laughs> uh, simply observing. Yeah, it's whether you, but it was it's whether you find it funny or not. That's yeah, funny. that's the best critique. <laughs> I still think Chappelle Show, man, was the greatest comedy of all time. I used to yes. love Chappelle yes. Show. Yes. Oh man, did you see a special on Netflix? I yes. did see that. Yes. And they were pretty uh interesting. I liked them. They were hysterical at points, but then I'm like, man, like what the fuck? His last two, um, I didn't like the big one. 
the last big the one that he did. One. Del- but or, uh, the DC. Yeah, did, the additional uh, one that they did after that. In, the, in that room in the, in yeah. the comedy store. Yeah, where he's sitting on the stool yeah. and he's basically just pulling on I that I like that one, dude. Yeah, that's I did. awesome. Yeah, that yeah. one was much better than the big like DC one that he did right before. Well, it, that's they, just, the that's one just that just came out this year, right? Yeah. 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 So you uh, you watched it. They yeah. kind of packaged them together. Yeah, and I thought that second half of that one was much better than the other one. He was a lot of it. I think was, it was just more current than than his uh, the DC one, yeah, just as oh, far yeah, as from yeah. like when he uh, actually did it to when it was released. Oh, I didn't know there was that much space in between them. I thought they had done them all together, but Mm-mm. cool. No, the other ones in the that where he's sitting on that stool, that's on the in the comedy store in LA, dude. See? If I ever go out there, that is a place to go, yeah, dude. Sure. Every comic goes there: Rogan, Bill Burr, Tom Segura, Crystal Lee. They or, still do now. Yeah. Like that is got to be like that's it's the like mecca the all time mecca of comedy. Yeah, like you, for sure. But by the time I'll ever be able to get out there, <laughs> the, I'll be gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, God damn They're all it. tired and old. Yeah. I mean, Rogan's in his 50s. Burr's in his 50s. Yeah, but Rogan's like a Greek god at 50 years old. You see that dude's sidekick or his like roundhouse kicks? He's, They're insane, 152 dude. 152 on his little machine. He's, got, insane, the, he's got like the man. record yeah, for so kick for power. Rogan. He may be 51 yeah. years of age, but he's not 51 oh, god, years no, he's old. Fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Rogan's like 51? That. That's what you said. Uh, yeah. Damn. Or he's 50. Burr's 50. 50. Yeah, they're both. I think he just Bill turned Burr, 50 right? this year. Yeah. yeah, I knew Bill Burr was 50. I did not know. He Rogan. just had a kid. Did he really? Yeah, dude, he's got a he's got a daughter. Have you ever listened to his podcast? He's good stuff. They're you just know, actually solo have. rants. Really? Yeah, but it's like he talks out. a lot of sports. Like he's pretty knowledgeable on sports. He reads uh, letters from from his audience, and there it's funny rants. I can't do them all the time. Like I've actually stopped listening to them, but it's they were good. Check him out for I'll a while. Check here, it out. Here. I'm all caught up on everything. right now. He just now, starts so. to get upset because you're like, "Damn, I want to go to the comedy store." Because they, they, everybody I listen to all go hang out together. So it's yeah. like, "God damn it!" Do you like uh, Duncan Trussell? Time. Yes, that dude's hysterical. He man. was just on Tim Foyle Hats. That guy is so funny, man. Who was is a good this episode? Duncan Trussell. He's like, uh, he's a comedian. It was kind of like a, I want to say, alt comedian. Like he would like a bunch of like religious, comedi- religious type. They call him comedy. A comedic Buddhist. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a cool like in. He's just not I haven't seen any of his new one. Like I just listened to his his uh, podcast, but like his first stand ups that I know were like more religious aspect. Uh, I don't know what his new shows are about, but he like now he's like a Buddhist, a Hindu Buddhist. Yeah, he goes, he goes with, Ram with like and the stuff. Ram Dass yeah. and the whole chants and everything. Yeah. Mantras. Like it's interesting, and he's a peaceful cat. And yeah, he's cool. He talks he's, about a lot of cool shit. He's inquisitive, but he's, which is cool, man. Yeah, is a know? podcast. Yeah, or what's his name? Duncan Trussell. Duncan Trussell. Duncan Trussell. Yeah, yeah, Duncan Trussell Family Hour. Some of it's like it's like weird and out there in the beginning, and then it's his conversations with like about Ram Dass, and yeah, it's sure. interesting. He stuff, has an episode dude. with Krishna Das, which is no, no, it's uh, Raghu Marcus. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, there it is. Right, I got it. Yeah, I just it's... started in on the Jocko ones. Uh, I've listened yeah. to one. Um, this is a... Do you like Jocko? Yeah, I think he's a phenomenal warrior and a phenomenal human being for sure. I'm definitely expanding my podcast listening to. Um, yeah, we know. You like true crime. No, I've been listening to a lot of um, gaming podcasts lately. Ones that have been recommended and ones that are suggested off of that. What do you listen to? Oh, man. Do you even have time to do anything? So like, when it comes to yeah, I have time to listen. Not so much podcasts though, because when I get into podcasts, man, I want to be I want to be doing something that's like two dimensional, something that's so simple I can go on autopilot and really focus on the podcast. Same with audiobooks. Yeah. Um, I just read a couple biographies that are really really deep, and I had to read them. I had to listen to them twice just to like retain everything. But um, from podcasts, I listen to Tim Ferriss a lot, a lot. Um, a little bit of what's called Two Brain Radio. The guy named Chris Cooper is like a big pioneer in the CrossFit world. And then I'll bounce around between Duncan Trussell Family Hour and uh, um, what's that dude? I'm drawing a blank. Um, that was close. Yeah. Hey, you can say just <laughs> Joe. Yeah, so I don't listen to that Everybody many podcasts, to but, but Tim Ferriss is like my number one. And then um, yeah, he's got a, he's got a couple of really cool episodes. I think I sent you one actually. Yeah, the one with, with uh, his with Terry Crews, Terry Crews is man, awesome. Was wild. Terry Crews is a, a cool ass shit. I didn't cool know guy. about all the the artwork that like that guy the does. Terry Crews. Yeah, well, Wait, you ever see his art? Yeah, all right. No, I haven't. Go to his Dude, he's He's got like, he paints, really? draws, cool. like he is a sick like fucking a artist. artist. Yeah. Dude, like he could have been an artist instead of uh, 
the what are you going football first? NFL, yeah, yeah, and then did he play in the NFL? Yeah, yeah I, I, I knew he long. played college ball for a while. Yeah, he was nasty, dude. That guy is so interesting. Yeah, his art is yeah. sick. sick. I have to pick him up. I just loaded up on my Instagram with a bunch of like beer people and they reviewed that's why you could finish beers. that challenge man i know right? oh yeah no it, dude, it, it was pop so up little less than everywhere man <laughs> drink beer drink beer drink it was, beer it was I, ridiculous i have friends from that uh host other podcasts that that were like networking with talking with working with dude he fucking throws me out like five beers like oh it's my lunch menu it's like god damn bro like yeah way to rub it in <sighs> dude but i'll have to follow him on instagram let me get a little sip let me smell it let me smell it real quick <laughs> I'll smell a beer, man. I haven't talked. I can't remember the last time. It's been like two years since I drank. Like a year and a half at least, dude. And it's yeah. fucking. I don't remember what it tastes like, dude. That's weird. It, like, I don't even remember what beer tastes like at this point. I would imagine not because I, I used to smoke and not smoking. Like, I don't remember what it tastes like. I know I don't want to fuck with it. Right. But I don't Cigarettes? remember what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I have no idea, like, what it actually tastes like or feels like anymore. I was actually standing next to someone yesterday who was smoking a cigarette and. You throw a punch him? No, uh, <laughs> he like it out lit the cigarette. And I mean, I've been around people who smoke all the time. Like I'm around them all the time. But for some reason, whatever cigarette brand he was smoking, he lit the thing up and took that first big like puff, and that that little trigger kind of went off in me for the first time in I don't know <laughs> five years, where I was just like, huh? Trigger warning. Yeah, it doesn't even. Does it even smell as – oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely smells disgusting. <laughs> so – but, yeah, for the first time in five years or so, I had that was like, huh. It wasn't just like a total like disgust or ignoring it. It was – that smells kind of familiar. <laughs> so. Gross. It is gross. It, gross. it sounds it more is. I'm glad gross. we're coming out of the winter That's definitely time. ewy. That's, that's crossed over the thresh, threshold of gross into ewy. Yeah. <laughs> it's officially ewy. <laughs> you – uh. You into the crypto cons- You can't say you can't say that. Cryptocurrency? You can't say that because now like- we can't now we can't promote this thing. Oh, I just won't promote it. Wait, that much. What do you think about this whole Facebook thing? Yeah, have you paid attention to that? Have you seen all? any of this? <laughs> the data, data from, from fucking Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> did that motherfucker looks like a robot up there. Did dude. you? Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, did you real. watch him? They killed him? Zuckerberg and they put in a fucking drone <laughs> robot thing. Jesus. It's like get 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 like. <laughs> Senator, did you? I am. No. So you watched it? Right? <laughs> of course. I, well, I didn't watch it. I fucking caught a couple see, seconds. Oh my god, yeah. dude! He looked like he was sweating bullets. Dude, that everybody whole time. Who sits in front of Congress, dude. Fucking yeah, is about I mean, to what the fuck? Shit That's not true. He was also on a bo- on a booster Jeff seat. Sessions. <laughs> Jeff Sessions yeah, true, lined true, his true. face true. off. And yeah, didn't but so did Zuckerberg. He wasn't even under oath. Oh yeah, Zuckerberg was not under oath, dude. Did you? Do were you about to, to say he was in a booster seat? Yeah, he was in. A, he, had, he had a booster seat, dude. He had a fucking like a six inch <laughs> pad under his ass. It's so funny. What well, maybe that? that's not a booster seat. Maybe that's for comfortability after sitting there for it's, how many hours? It's already hours? A padded chair, bro. It's pretty <laughs> fucking tough. We're sitting on pool. Hey, you know what? Next time, upgrade for this place. Booster seats for these stools. Yeah, then Joe could sit over the table like a like an adult instead of like Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> so dwarves. You think this thing's gonna shut it down? No. No, God. did you hear that there was a, they were talking Dude, about charging get the for fuck Facebook? Out of here. The, did you hear t- that? A monthly fee. They were talking about fee? a monthly fee to be to have Facebook. Dude, I'm deactivating it. Yeah, I'm probably point. gonna delete mine here soon. I, I yeah, I've, I've thought about or, it so many times. If it weren't for the show, well, I would I would have deleted it already. Yeah, I mean, same here. If I didn't have Cross and Earn's Facebook page and like you know manage a lot of stuff, and I I actually use Facebook to, to like stay in touch with people. I really enjoy talking to old friends. Yeah, I use Facebook hey, Messenger constantly. How are you That's how days, I talk you know? to people throughout the day. Yeah, Do but you, you, you don't actually don't you don't need Facebook to, to use, use Messenger. No, no, you need Facebook. But for the, the thing page. I like about Facebook, it well, yeah, but I don't like you don't need it on your phone. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you just have it on a computer and stuff like that. I'm, I'm like I'm at the point now. Where I'm probably gonna delete it from my phone just because it's bizarre world. My man. problem is I uh, yes yeah it's it, it's very different. I put Especially my phone if on you, inter- scale the other if you day. interact with other people. Yeah, yeah. I actually thought about hiring the wifey to run the OCD Facebook page so I could just delete Facebook from my phone. Like here, post shit. <laughs> I don't want it on my phone anymore. I don't want to like like shit. It's I don't just a distraction that. from life, man. I think it all is. that stuff is a distraction from life. And the more you're looking at your phone, the less you're living in the now. And the less you're living in the now, the less you can actually do anything with your life because you're stuck living in the past literally when you scroll facebook that's the past 
And the yeah, longer you focus on that bullshit, you're you're missing out on things that are happening right in front of your face, man. That's why I hate Facebook. I don't hate it. I don't hate anything. No, I, I get what you, I get what you're saying. I I think that's more the line like our friend was talking about before when he was saying that he doesn't like technology it was, was the, the just the, the shit that can go, go wrong with it. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't have to. You right? can't be I afraid mean, of that though. Mm. Yeah, you, can't, you shouldn't be afraid of anything. I've reached out to a lot of people using Facebook as far as like cruising. Not even, well, yeah, cruising, like not looking for people, but having something in mind that I'm looking for and looking for that. If I don't find it, move on. And then I'm yeah, like, but making it's that action. So, stuff. dude, the people on Facebook, they're geniuses at getting you addicted to their platform. Yo, so, yeah. if you go do the oh, thing yeah. that you meant to do psychologically. When you open Facebook, it's almost like you forget why you open. So, if I'm like, oh, I'm going to go look up my buddy Joe, and I'm going to go pull up and I pull up Facebook out, and I'm like, oh, what was I going to do again? Look for funny mean, funny mean, yeah, funny mean. And then I start scrolling, <laughs> hoping that I'll remember what the fuck I was gonna do. And then, but then I'm down a rabbit hole. And 40 minutes later, I'm like, oh fuck, where am I? You know what I mean? It's like, no, dude, get rid of that shit. Have no distractions. Live in the now. Yeah. People should be paying more attention to things like YouTube. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Oh. But you know what? <laughs> Shameless nice plan. Yeah, yeah, that's like awesome. that. What's up? Uh, trying to work on 100 because that's when you can customize the uh, URL. Yeah. You need 100 subscribers. We're at 45. Help us out, man. Hook us up. Yo, man. Just yeah. Put it out there. I'll go you make. Know, 40, you don't have to watch the video. I'll go make forty-five accounts and I'll subscribe so, to it. There you go. Right. I'll do just, it. just trying to get. I'm just trying to get to hundred so I can change my URL. It just makes Hell the link yeah. look nicer. It's just yeah, for sure. Step. Cleans it up. I'm not saying you have to watch this shit. Just help me out by hitting the button. Yeah, I don't man. watch half the shit that I'm subscribed to because I don't have time for that. I got too much shit. For real. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm yeah. <laughs> doing too much stuff. For sure. Uh, but I don't know. Like. I agree. Like it, there, there are issues and problems, and I, I mean, I go in holes all the time, mm. not intentionally <laughs> going for. But I've also come across some interesting people. Like, uh, I'm talking with this author, 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 author. I've heard it both. Not ways. Arthur. Not no. You have never heard it as Arthur. <laughs> uh, that he wrote. He just wrote a book uh, called um, "The Red, White, Blue, and the Colors," and it's it's a I think a historic historical fiction uh book about a um detective that loses her partner mm. and when she's investigating what setting she's like seen, what time she's gonna all year? the racism uh I, I think current okay but it has to deal with like the clan members and, and what happened to those generations of people uh so it's it's based off of that like i'm excited to read it. i'm excited to talk to him and that wouldn't have happened had i not had facebook yeah. you know what i mean and yeah uh, for sure, I ta- for sure. I, in some of the groups that we're in for the podcast like that's you know rate and review all right well i'm not going to review you or rate you if i'm not listening to your shit so i'll mm. check it out for a little bit if i like it i'll go for the whole thing and i'll tell you hey man what's up like i i listened to this one today called the uh, ungenderfied and it was good and they oh, we're getting like yeah we're getting feedback we're getting a little bit of feedback live feedback Thanks, on this why what's it say it says your second camera has an echo on, on the, the audio. audio yeah smash that fucking camera no. That's what's up. Um, all right, I'll handle that in a second. Thanks. We're getting lit up right now. Thanks. That was awesome. Good yeah, feedback. Awesome. Man. Again, Love well, it. that's Facebook Messenger. So, like you say, you don't need it. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I listened to this podcast and he threw out a stat. And it, I mean, it's just, I had it then. So I, I was asking if, if he really felt the way that, you know, what he was reading or if he really thought that way. And it was just a nice back and forth. But, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. It's, it's nice to reach out and, and have real conversation with people. I'm not saying being a dick. Like, you don't have to be a dick about shit. For sure. And that's coming for somebody that was a dick about <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, for I, sure. I, I didn't, I don't want to be that I like person to stay anymore. true to who I am. And <clears throat> well, that's just why you post who I am. offensive memes. And there's that's the I question do. Who are you? I'm an uh, asshole. <laughs> oh, wow. That's <laughs> I'm self proclaimed you an asshole? Or do you just do yeah. asshole things? Can you do me a favor? Uh, you, you know what? I don't really do asshole things. Like I'm not I'm not that asshole that like doesn't care about people, but I'm I'm that asshole that'll tell you shit oh, that, that nobody asshole. Uh, nobody God, else right, will tell right. you. I thought you meant the other asshole. No, 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 no. <laughs> like I'm not somebody who just walk up to somebody and punch them in the face for no reason. I'm not that asshole. But yeah. if your that outfit looks fun fucked asshole. up, I'll tell you your outfit looked fucked up. <laughs> or if something you said was stupid, I'll let you know. I'll let you know it was stupid. <laughs> so you're an honest asshole. I'm an honest <laughs> asshole. You know, I just I try to. I don't know. Whatever. Sometimes people tell me I'm an asshole, so I assume that just means you're honest. I am. Right. I try to keep it that Who, way. I wouldn't Who say you're an that? asshole. I would say you're honest. That was Christian. 
Thanks, Chris. Shout hashtag to, no offense. Ha- shout out to Chris at hashtag no offense. Again, that's a Facebook thing. You know what I mean? Like building. Yeah. No, I'm not saying. Uh, by no, 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 I don't no, knock no, no. anybody that uses Facebook. Like, that's for my life personally, I, I'm very rarely on it these days. Well, that's what I was going to say is I, I I feel split between the yeah. same ways. Like there, weird, are, there are times where I'm it's indifferent. Like, if it gets the. Like, fuck, did man, you see like, freaking like Elon Musk offered to buy it and delete it? Did you see this? No. That dude is so cool, man. Like He is. He is. Dude, that guy is an AI himself. I'm convinced he's he's not even a human anymore. I'm, I'm convinced that the body in the roadster that they sent into space was actually Elon Musk's body, Ooh, good and call. that he's actually there an AI. Go. That's what I heard. I'm convinced of. I heard that there was this like when I was delving into my conspiracy you theories. Did you just that, scratch? <laughs> <laughs> delving into my conspiracy theories that uh, that that was something that he either sent his own body up or that he had had some somebody in Dude, the he's industry a AI. murder. He's an AI, and they sent the body up, but. I've heard about that a body, but that was the first time I've actually heard a name attached to a body. I don't, that I've only heard the joke about He's going to change the world. He you should. Hear about Dean, fucking let him run it, man. Let's you hear about go Dean already. Kamen? Jesus Christ. No. What happened to Dean Kamen? Um, they're, they're trying to jumpstart this, um, basically a whole new industry to uh, bring jobs. But they're trying to launch basically this whole new industry out of New Hampshire for uh, regenerative parts. Organs, people do it up, man. Like I'm the, you, I want that you know, he arm, he wants to give scholarships bugging. away for people to go to school. He wants to bring awareness to this industry. He wants to be the leader and pioneers in this whole industry. Like get this thing going. Doing like, what? Like growing body parts? Growing body parts. Like <laughs> it, people who need a kidney or a new yeah. heart. You know, they can get matches from people instead of having to take these from other people. They can just take samples of it and regenerate all and clone a whole new Dude. kidney or a now whole you're, new. Now you're, now you're playing God, man. Like that's fucked up. I shit. and I'm a little torn are you with though? it. Because like, are, are you not dude. all a piece of God in yourself, right? For sure. Aren't we? For sure. Aren't we? So but then that are would we also, not just create that also something? suggests we don't I mean, need Christ, technology to do it. The, you know what CERN is, right? Yeah, of course. They're, they're, they're trying to cre- create the fucking big bang right then. Like that's what that is for. It's just oh, bro, have you not heard? Like that the last like seven months, their technology's crashed. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's not working. They into the whole. They they're they're smashing particles, but they're not able to create the amount of vacuum and also speed needed for a black hole and things are starting to yes. backfire in the machine oh, they'll fix it. of course they'll they will. no it's you hope they'll they're, fix they're, it we're they're stretching the limits of science i believe at this point now yeah. see i'm a little torn on this because like you Katorn? said it's play- Katorn. A, Katorn. 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 a torn a torn arthur <laughs> <laughs> touche <Boom>. scores <laughs> one to one make note make note uh, so when you say like, like you start playing table. god by doing that but the the idea is that come and the, the 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 research that goes into it and the the evolution of mm. our science isn't aren't we supposed to be doing that Maybe. are we supposed to be making these, you know, yes. these strides? I'm, pretty, I'm pretty i'm pretty torn on like the, the the biologically you know biological world and like sciences and because man i think that science has been doing for the dawn of mankind's existence what they've been doing is trying to explain something that is inexplicable mm. which is the purpose of all sciences, right, is to understand everything. Right. And you can't understand our existence. We no. can understand that everything is light. We can totally understand that. But it doesn't tell us why. It doesn't tell us how. Well, I think that's where you get to fuse the both. But that's you where gotta, I don't you think, I think fuse technology the, will the never organic get us there. With the, I think it will. You just have to fuse the organic with the inorganic. I think I agree. That's, that's the lie, man. I think we already know, but we've forgotten. And you don't need technology to remember something you've always known. You'd have to talk to the plants. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. And the gnomes and the fairies and the elves. Hey. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you think of the beer? Huh? Yeah, I think it looks good, man. It looks really sharp. I can't wait to get this fucker off. <laughs> Why is it all itchy uh, and annoying? No, God, no, no. It's I mean, it's nice and comfortable. It it's just burly, eating's man. a pain in the ass. Oh come uh, on! <laughs> I'm telling you, like I I got hair in my mouth today trying to eat a sandwich. <laughs> Like, Why don't you trim like, up around the lips, man? Did you say trying to eat a sandwich? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you eating a sandwich for? There's your mistake, dude. That was, was the was universe saying, don't eat this shit. These are little arms coming down and saying, don't go in. And trying to keep the sandwich out of your mouth, dude. Stop I wish I had those food. little arms. That, I'm just kidding, bro. I mean, was, I'm was, totally just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Don't eat that turkey. burrito. <laughs> Is it deli meat turkey? Yeah. I'm going to slap you. Process. Yeah, yeah, salty. Man. Come on, dude. What have we taught you? What Shame. Have you been at Cross Shame. Shame. Simple things that already existed, like plants and things that had faces but not processed. Yeah, I just started. Did you? His beard? No, yeah. he started at the same no, time. No, it just started growing. For real? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. Did you just <laughs> wide-eye for real my fucking beard? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> no, I thought it was a nicely grown beard, but I didn't realize it was growing at the same time. Uh, what I was actually oh. wide-eyeing was how fast his beard is growing in comparison to yours, not how slow yours is. So don't take it that way. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I've been joking about it the whole time. No, but I was just I like, started what the P- fuck are you taking, dude? Cause I like- started taking PEDs, man. I started taking fucking vitamins uh, bef- like two weeks PEDs, before we shaved. Bro, vitamins are not PEDs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're not. I'm taking a fuck little magnesium, dude. Hope it'll just might make my beard grow. No, it's you know what I actually did? I actually don't. Hold on, sorry. Vitamins, Check this stuff out. It's called Lurong Living. It's, like it's their whole... essential supplement, dude. I'm convinced that's the only reason I can grow a beard. I don't actually know if that's true or not, but when I was back in like the, the peak of my training, my knees were always getting beat up. This is when I had like you know 465 back squat and 335 clean and jerk. And whoa, yeah, I used to be a really strong hoss. Oh yeah, here. no, I've seen his numbers. I've I never used... seen the clean and jerk. We can go back on Instagram um, if you want. Dude, they're stupid. I was just, I was just a big. I look like a giant, <laughs> like a bull. I look like a fucking bull. You know what I mean? It was, I was unnecessarily large, still very fast and, and fit, but like not really, man. Like couldn't go hike a mountain, right? So like, what the fuck? Good was it cleaning three hundred pounds for a touch and go double? It made no sense in the world, right? <laughs> Who is naming it? Yeah. And so like my my point was um, with with all where was I going with all that? Fuck! I hate when we do this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was damn it, man. Those fucking gnomes are fucking with me right now. Uh, I'm just kidding. I went off. The, I went off the tangent with the with the jerk and clean. I mean the clean and jerk. Yeah, you just totally your reaction. You just wide eye my clean and jerk, bro. What the fuck was that all about? Dude, he has like, no what? idea. Come on, I, I have no idea what you're talking about when you're talking about like CrossFit stuff because you're not the only person. <coughs> like man. him and Kristen maybe, started. Oh, they behoove you to go do some fucking market research. Ha, <laughs> just kidding, bro. No, I don't do any research. <laughs> We've been over this. I don't do research. I like to be surprised <laughs> like that. Cool, man. Cool. <laughs> so but you're like, oh, clean and jerk. That sounds really cool. Is it cool? I don't know because we talked about the snatch last cool, time. Cool. Yeah, we talked was, about the snatch, oh and apparently it's not what I thought it was. Speaking of the snatch, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to steal this because I threw this out for a topic for for some friends. But uh, did you see the uh, transgender was a man now is a woman uh, do a snatch and the arm snap. Oh, I did not watch it because I can't watch that kind I've of shit. I've seen that shit happen before. This guy, uh, what the hell is his name? Kevin Ogar, a bunch of years ago, probably like four or five years ago now, uh, caught a snatch and it came down and hit his spine. He already had a partially fractured vertebrae, I think it was, and he was he's now paralyzed. And he's working for the CrossFit HQ staff as a full time trainer, and he's part of their adaptive program. A solid human being, um, but like still CrossFit's in a wheelchair. That's fucking. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I swear, I'm sorry. I, no, yeah. you're allowed. Yeah, get a little pumped say. up because that yeah. stuff fires me up. No, but that that shit looked like it hurt. Like that that looked very painful. I couldn't watch it. Like I it, imagine it's very very excruciating. Yeah. That was that was rough. It was not like the uh, other video I watched, but I won't get into that one. Well, I wish them a speedy recovery because that sucks. So uh, your issue was the transgender thing. No, it was a man and then. Well, I saw the discussion you were having that it was a man and then a woman competing against women. Yeah, I don't. I don't don't you don't care? Right. No, I don't think it's right. You don't think it's right? Fuck. You no. think is there's there's a, a biological difference between a man and a woman as, as you th- far as strength? But are they a full? <clears throat> Dude, if I if if I go, I'm a I'm a woman. Well, I no. Can what still I'm saying is the if they're shit out of out of my wife. What I'm saying is like, if they fully transitioned and they're different weight brackets yeah, for sure. But like, I get what you're saying. I don't know. I mean, I understand your premise. If they're fully transitioned, does it make a difference? Because aren't they overloading their body with estrogen anyways? Yeah, but you're still going to have that testosterone, that bone structure, your fucking, yeah. your muscles. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, they're strong women. Like, don't don't get me wrong that they do, but it's, no, if you're play, if she's in the Olympics placing, like, it's a she, you're a it she. It was an Olympic? Like, I get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I just, I don't think that, that, that that's right. Like, I don't know. Like, there is a difference. Like, I get the philosophical reason why she should. Be so she would have but, yeah. but the you have to look at the science behind it. Yeah, you know it's actually that's actually probably one realm of science that I've never dove down because honestly, I don't give a shit. You know, she goes to the Olympics and she's an acknowledges a woman, honor her as a woman, and let her lift. You know, like that's how I look at it. You know, that's that's how I feel about the whole transgender movement. Is like, you know, people like Ben Shapiro will go out and say, well, if if they're su- suffering so bad by not having the sex the sex change, and then when they have the sex change, the suicide rate actually goes up. I understand his premise as well, but I just, dude, just do right by people, man. Like, honor them, and you know what? If, if you want to go become a woman, I cannot say anything other than, okay, I love you, because I'm treating you as though you're me. Right, I get, I get you know, that. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for them doing that. Yeah. But from, like, a, now, would the, you from the support to, of but, contests, I understand your premise. I just don't know enough about the science. I would imagine that contractile potential and bone structure plays a you know, gigantic role. Um but I again hormonally, if you can, if you can, like, if you can catch someone young enough, like in the developmental stages of teenage years, you can manipulate the hormones 
But again, this is where you're playing God and you're doing the whole science thing again. And it's just a very interesting world, you know, and it's that's why I think that you bring a point. Like there were people that talked about having their like six year olds, I think in Europe somewhere doing like they were they were putting hormones into yeah. i forget which way it was going i tuned out because I, I just i got kids and i couldn't imagine and I, yeah i, I, just don't, even, think I don't even like giving them cold medicine let alone fucking if you look back at the way the, the, <coughs> the lakota people of south dakota used to do it is they would just honor you as a woman and you would become a woman and it was or you they would honor a woman as a man and you would become a man you know that was just your role in, in the society and it wasn't like a okay. Let's figure out how to get this person more beef to get more testosterone and fat. You know, it wasn't like that at all. It was like, hey, let's just honor them as they are. They will dress as such, and we will still dance beside them, and they just carry out their gender roles. That's how it was. It was it was really honorable and very beautiful back in the Lakota time. That's also why you know, white man came and fucking wiped them from the history books and made them out to be savages because they lived a very peaceful and harmonious existence, an existence that I think humanity is slowly shifting towards again. It's our first false flags. Which it one? was the what? Native American oh, thing, yeah. the propaganda behind it. But okay, so back to the the whole thing. So what if Which they whole thing first? the transgender thing? What if they did ah uh, that whole thing? What if they did the uh, the, the, the like the sports science testing where they tested lifting between her and a uh, competitor that she would be competing competing against and and testing testosterone output and you know biological comparisons and it comes back that they're pretty much the same. And there's not a real difference. Do you still have an issue with it? No, I guess if 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 they could, because obviously there's been biological prove. changes. So you would yeah. think that that whole process would go. I don't know. Forty in years all aspects, time. there would be a lot of changes. It's not like it's not like <clears throat> you going out there and lifting and pushing out all this testosterone with it, and then I would probably have a heart attack. You know, that person's probably between the estrogen intake that they're taking the pills and the shots and all that other shit that they do to keep i would think that the that affects the biological part of it so i would imagine so but i don't know how much i wouldn't be surprised if the te- if they Let's tested it on. and it wasn't yeah i mean yeah, yeah get a doctor on <laughs> make them do it they're they're in man, not a unfortunately <laughs> people who are doing this now are in a in an era like they're in an area where they are first in their class to do it you know so there has to be some sort of testing and rules it was like and- my generation with the internet <laughs> yeah, yeah i know right yeah, look that what you fucked guys us did. up man my uh we went nowhere can you imagine if you were 12 and porn was as readily available as it is now <laughs> uh, instead of finding magazines in the woods no nah, man that's fucked up why would you want to <laughs> like kid the 12 year old kid supposed to be an innocent little dude just like having fun like Were starting you? to start flirt with girls you know what i mean like 12 year old dude like you're not supposed to be looking at you look at playboys at 12 okay I oh okay. Found it. so there but we it, that playboy is very different from <laughs> the porn you find on the internet today is man yeah, yeah, like a no, 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 I know. That shit, oh yeah, like, yeah yeah i know that but i mean it's crazy that they like program you get you get addicted to that yeah that, for sure the objectif- objectification of women uh, Oh, that too. Yeah, I was more like the light of the screen, but oh, we can right. go that deep if you want to. Yeah, go dude, I, 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 I'm, uh, I don't, I don't want to say I'm anti-porn. It's not really anti-anything, man. If you don't, if you want to do it, I honor it, right? But, but like, you choose not to. Because yeah, because I morals, right? It, yeah, dude, it makes you objectify a, a women and see them as items of sexual gratification as opposed to beautiful beings that they are. I can just, I mean, I'm gonna say Pornhub's giving college scholarships away right now. So That's fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> They're giving away so, college scholarships. To, just come to, on, man. To like, people, let's who, reel it back in a little bit. Let's get a little bit more morally centered and stop fucking objectifying this shit and making. Oh, cool! I got a scholarship. Where'd you get it from? Pornhub. Like, well, see, that's, that's the problem. You're a dirty the, fuck, pe- dude. People that's don't the girl take saying it though. That's a, that. What do you I mean? mean, I'm not saying all of them are are squeaky clean, if you will. Mm. But at the like the. You uh, you want the woman to make choices on everything in life. Yeah, yeah. So if she wants to do that, should she be? No, shamed? yeah, no, no. Honor the artist, right? You know the, so, the the actresses and stuff. I get it. So, but the only way to honor them is to to watch it. I nah, mean, man, I'm I can sure say, hey, I respect you as an artist and performer, but I'm not gonna watch your shit. I would imagine there there's still a, <laughs> that's fair a, a spectrum fair. of of like your your normal fucking married house guy I got five kids I gotta fucking rub one out cause she ain't give me shit cause she tired cause the kids are up her ass all the time like that type of shit to then you have those people that are like I'm gonna find this lady and stalk her like there there is that <laughs> spectrum of was that people. Batman voice? that was a Batman voice uh, was, I'm Batman I'm Batman <laughs> no that was his cruising voice I will say I did I did uh, uh, what the fuck's his name 
uh, the guy that did Batman and Lego Batman. I sounded more <laughs> like him. That yeah, <laughs> Logan was like, awesome. "Hey, Batman! No, I do Batman. What are you out of your mind? I just like it." <laughs> oh, who the hell is that? He was also in the Ninja Turtle movies. Oh, that, that, uh, I don't know. Ninja Turtle movie. Like the live action Ninja Turtle movies? No, well, the one where they were CGI with Megan Fox. The worst ones. Yes. I, didn't, I don't know if I saw that one. You're, either you're better of off not seeing them. He was in both of them. He no, I don't think Vern. I saw either one of them. Oh, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you know sure. I'm talking about? Yep. The, yeah, the CGI ones have sucked. I'm not saying they're great. I do admire, though, that they put in like Will the, Arnett. Mm. Will Arnett, yeah. Is that? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's Batman and Lego Batman. Really? Oh, um, I didn't know that. I do like that they brought in the uh, the bus on the second one. And they yeah. brought in Rocksteady and Bebop, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. But they did them in a really piss poor way and like... I wish Rocksteady and Bebop would have been in the originals <laughs> instead of Tokar and Razor. Because, yes. like, ah! yeah. like, that was not fucking very cool, man. It was cool, but, like, Rocksteady and Bebop they were, were way cooler. They were babies, man. Like, yeah. nobody wants to deal with fucking babies. Exactly, it's dude. Like... You want to watch Rocksteady and Bebop make fools of themselves yeah. and, like, rap and be crazy. But, like, <laughs> against the Ninja Turtles, that were actually still pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I agree. That they was look good like shit. aliens. Well, now they're, they're making a new one, too, I think. Another, Another one? one? Please not yeah. like away. Uh, is he responsible for all of them? Yes, so, yeah. and the Transformers, which I mean the, the same, exact same way, style. Right? So, but at least right for the second movie of Ninja Turtles, they they try to give you that nostalgia mm. from from the yeah, cartoon yeah. where Transformers fucking completely Dude. left any of that. Dude, shit. what does that? Do you want to see the like, reboot to that? <clears throat> they're supposedly rebooting. They're, they're making reboot. another Mark Wahlberg one right now. Yeah, well, they're doing another Mark Wahlberg. Bumblebee's getting his own movie or has his own movie. Yeah, but that, that I think that's the one where they're supposed to. Is that the one where they're supposedly rebooting? Those they're movies supposed are, to start. Those the movies whole... are no longer for us, the fans. They're for the kids. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. the fans stop watching. For them, you ever watch on Netflix? They have a documentary. Uh, it's the toys when we were growing up or something. The toys that made toys, us. Yeah. Yeah. Toys that made us. Yeah. Dude, the He Man on that, the GI Joe, I had all the Barbie. Of that shit. Like, dude, that was yeah, the Barbie. No, yeah, I definitely said it. So. No, sure? I well, no, you <laughs> rapid fired that one. I had all the He Man. Yeah. I had all the Ninja Turtles. That one there he was already committed. To I had all the Ninja those. Turtles. My sisters had Barbies. Put them in the microwave. No, you make them. Mi- Yo, what? man, no, you make out with the GI. I heard you do the same thing with your cat. You sick fuck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I never had a cat. I could, but That's I true. probably would have. I hate cats. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't Bad kill fuck. a cat. I just open the door and leave it open until it ran out. And the hawk grabs it. <laughs> How's the Everglades? Dude, the Everglades were wild, man. Yeah, they were pretty cool. I met some really, really cool people down there. Um, I actually may potentially take their guide certification next year. Nice. Like in this fall. It's a 50-day course where you go get certified to be a mountain, whitewater, and climbing guide through, through them. And also a canoe guide. So it's pretty cool. But it's like, it's like the first step in getting hired by those guys. And uh, there is a main outward bound, but it's kind of shoddy. It's not very built up like north carolina outward bound has everything like this this trip in the everglades was through north carolina outward bound and those guys like it's so amazing how they do this they have winter expeditions but like the guides that we had um one of them had just got back from patagonia like she went on a 40-day trip in patagonia where's that it's south america it's uh, like argentina okay and uh like the company patagonia like the yeah, mountain yeah, range yeah. that Yvonne chenard used to you know hike and climb and fell in love with um that he then named his brand after. She was there for like a 30 or 40 day trip. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Her name is Styles. Styles Raider. It's like a video game character, right? Um, Still now, Laura Croft. Yeah, for real. But yeah. So anyways, um, that was cool. I met some really dope veterans. Uh, one of the girls is actually right now finishing up the Pacific Crest Trail, um, which is like the West Coast version oh, of the, uh, the AT. Um, part of the Triple Crown, and yeah, she's actually she came. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> we know what you're talking oh, about. Shit. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, she came and stayed. So I invited them. I said, "Hey, to, to anybody here, and a lot of these guys were like sergeant majors, like retired, you know, captains and stuff." And I said, "Hey, anybody here ever needs a place to stay? Like, my house isn't the hugest, but if you need a place, I have a bed. It's got your name on it for a month." And uh, Brittany, one of the girls there, hit me up. She was like, "Hey, can I come stay with you for a month? I'm going through another divorce. Like, I don't know my place in this world. I just need somewhere I, where I can go be." rather than go to my parents' house and be the daughter that like has to be responsible for this, this, and this. Because no matter where you are in life, when you go back to people that knew you at one point in your life, you go back to that character. Like That's what they know you as because yeah. they don't know the new version of you. So you'll always go back to that old version and you'll naturally kind of subconsciously fall back into that role. And so I said, hey, just come out here and be with me. So she stayed with us for two weeks or three weeks and then uh, her sister-in-law's 
mother or broth someone died and um sorry Brittany, for forgetting who it was but it was like someone she had never even met but it was she, like she was like oh, i gotta do the right, the right thing for as a family or whatever she went back dude she hung out for a little bit she started the trail or well the second half of the trail because her story is pretty deep uh she was on the trail with her then husband for three months and then he was like i don't want to do this anymore i want a divorce so they, they got off the trail. One guy, yeah, it was very abrupt. And that's so she was dealing with that. And uh, it's a lot different than So she flew here from Arizona, yeah. man. She flew here from Arizona. And she came and stayed with us for uh, three what weeks. What is it with New Hampshire and people finding themselves here? Yeah, like, man. This I, place is. Like, I just invited her and she was like, yeah, I'll come up. And then, so there was a, one of the dudes was from Fall River, Mass. Uh, his name is Jacinto. And um, he is now staying with me right now uh, for who knows how long. Uh, just kind of up in the air at this You're point. Like a refugee camp? No, nah, not a refugee camp. Uh, so the first. No, but you were like taking my, people in and yeah. changing people's lives. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. You know, because like these people have nothing else and nowhere to go. And so like, like Jacinto was staying at his parents' house. Car was unregistered for two years, right? Like driving this thing illegally, didn't have a job. Jesus. But he's not a bad dude. He's a good dude. He just goes back there and doesn't know where to go. Doesn't have a direction. I don't think his family gives him very much direction. I don't know his relationship with his family, but I, I'm just speculating. Observations. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so, anyways. I said, come up here, man. Stay with me. Actually, he was going to leave. He was going to leave the day before Brittany left. And I, he's like, all right, I guess time to go back down to Mass and find a job or something. I was like, dude, I can get you a job tomorrow. And he's like, what? I said, I should make a phone call, man. I'll get you a job tomorrow. So he's like, all right, dude, I'll stay. I said, okay, cool. And we just went from there. And um, yeah, so since he's been at the house, he's had a job down at Kahuna's, which as you guys probably know, <laughs> yeah. is my favorite place in the entire world. John Paul and Amanda are amazing. <coughs> I Nana. love their food. Yeah, he's I love everything about man. that place, man. Yeah. yeah. So that's my plug for this episode is go, go to that place. Big Kahuna's in Merrimack. It's right in the Skyline Mall. I love that place. Oh, they get banging food. Unbelievable food. It's a very island-themed you know, environment. It's really cool. Polynesian. Yeah, I go in there every time, and Nana gives me like a 40-second hug. <laughs> it's awesome. But uh, anyways, so. He's a busy man. Jump I, I, Yeah, I try to talk busy, to him. Busy, yeah. busy, 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 dude. I have yet to get down there. So, just, dude, if you like Chipotle, you'll like this shit. I'm no. It's not no no no, 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 no. The food if you like style, Chipotle, you'll, you'll love this stuff. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not the food style that like it just it's one of those places that I drive by every day, but it's usually at the end of my day or at the beginning of my day, so I just never stop in. Like I never have a second to just stop in by myself for lunch or whatever or with the so, wife. So be my guest. Any day you want, just like shoot me a message and we'll go. All right. Cool. Yeah, they good. I'll, they I'll fly into Merrimack for uh, for lunch or something. Yeah, dude. But they yeah, really I mean I've always food. wanted to try it. I've heard the food is great. It, from both of you and other people too so yeah. i just haven't like i said had time to get in there and check it out yeah, it's worth it yeah but they're uh they're just good people man they're a family-owned business they're having another kid so they have like an army going of kids right now Jeez. it's awesome and um they play footies. They're, just, they're just good people you walk in there and like they instantly treat you like part of the family it's not like uh, you know it's not it's not to knock anybody else but like you walk in there and you feel a vibe that is actually very similar to the vibe at CrossFit Earned. And that's not a plug. I'm not plugging CrossFit Earned right now. I want people to know that because plug, I, plug. I've – Go ahead. Plug the shit plug out of that. No, nah, man. Like, plug I, that, I, all listen, the man, socials. I love, I I love CrossFit Earned. Like, the more people, the merrier. Like, come, to, come to the tribe, right? But the thing that CrossFit Earned has that is, has been explained and described since the, we opened this gym six years ago is a vibe that is irreplaceable and you cannot find anywhere else. And that I'm really proud of that, man, because I had nothing to do with that shit. You know, I, uh, that's Jen. That's the people that have been there. Patty, Mark, Leo, people that have been there since the beginning, right? That have organically grown with the business. That have been there. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Phillies, you know, and they they are the ones that have gotten their their roots so deeply ground, like grown into our, our concrete. And they're the ones when people walk in, they they welcome them. And they say, Hey, how are you? Like, what do you do for work? Where are you from? Blah blah blah. What's your story? Well, let's have some fun. And they, everybody high fives. It's just. We have a very organic vibe, but that same vibe is the vibe at Kahuna's, and that's why John Paul and I get along so well. because we're we care about that vibe, and that's the vibe of the human experience. You know, I may not ever see you again after I leave your house tonight. Well, I, I mean, I hope that's not true. I know, yeah, but I'm just hope saying. That's but I'm just saying. Jesus. But but that's that's a very real possibility. Yes. And so I feel as though I want to make sure that this interaction that we had today is a good interaction and we had fun and we celebrated life and we smiled and we laughed and we cried and we, t- you know, everything because you never want to be like, Oh, well the last interaction I had with this person was this and didn't really make me feel so good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I live my life. And it's, it's, it goes back to that weird golden rule that everybody's talking about Buddha, Gandhi, Jesus, all those guys. They say, treat others as though they are you not treat others as though you want to be treated. Cause that's some fucked up psychological shit right there. If I'm saying treat you the way I want to be treated, there's a high likelihood that I'm not treating myself that way. 
And so I'm looking for you to treat me that way because I cannot treat myself that way. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. Yeah. But if I treat you the way I treat myself, that's going to encourage me to love myself unconditionally and absolutely so that I can then treat you the same way. And that's life. Damn, son. Just got deep on that. <laughs> you are an inspirational. That's for sure. Dude, man. Like I, I like, like I said, I like having your socks. Yeah, me too, man. I wish that we could cross path more, but yeah, you have obviously your, your goals and missions. I'm, yeah. We have ours. I'm trying to fucking build this We're thing. Growing. And it's, Dun, dun, dun. Dude, that was awesome. Cool. I'm going to wrap up the audio there, and then we're going to still kick on live stream. Cool. You want to end the audio there, and we'll still play because yeah, I'm not done, but I that was a go. good closing for the, <laughs> for the audio. For anybody <laughs> yeah. who's going to be listening to this on on Spotify or Stitcher or any platform that you listen to, well, good night. <laughs> good night, man. Let's um, – Troy CrossFit Earned. Check him out on Instagram. You can see all his pictures. It's interesting shit. Yeah. Uh, if you listen to the audio, you can check the rest of the craziness that happens on the YouTube live. And yeah. We're, We're going to keep rolling. This beer live streaming. Yeah, man, get it. Cheers that second half. I got my Spindrift sparkling water. I don't like that shit at all. I can't. I cannot. Canned water <laughs> kind of creeps me out. Well, yeah, not that. It's the. Uh, <laughs> I just hate that we have to pay for fucking water, seltzer. which occurs naturally. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, I don't even think. You, you can't. They passed a law that you can't even uh, collect rainwater. Anymore, Mer- right? I think Merrimack. Are you actually, serious? Can I think we can. I'm not I was sure going to say because there are plenty of people in Merrimack that still do it. They have those. Um, bins. I don't think Merrimack cops are the kind of guys. that's like let's go fucking hunt those rainwater collectors. Oh, those well, sons sure of hit. bitches. You know what I mean? Like we they're, don't live in like Hickville or somewhere. You know? No, no offense anybody in Hickville. There's they're, they're too busy over on DW people, Highway right. at the hotels. Yeah, yes, you should ah, no, not anybody. worry. You should worry about people's feelings, but jokes are jokes, right? For sure, man. Right. No, I'm not worried about hurting anybody's feelings. You should man. be able to if laugh. If I hurt your feelings, you. that's not a reflection of me. That's a reflection of you. Yeah. You took that a certain way. I just delivered it. That's right. Whatever I say, you're, I'm rubbing your glue <laughs> or whatever. Whatever I say to you bounces off you and sticks to me. Or, yeah, or no. yeah. I, I yeah, think yeah, I fucked yeah, that up, but something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? No, yeah. man. Sticks and stones maybe break my bones. Yeah, your but rubber, I'm glue. Yeah, yeah, your rubber, I'm glue. Your Dude, rubber on glue, whatever you say. I'm just fun listening to. Whatever you say. Back to fifth grade shit right there. Uh, yeah, man. So. You have a hole in your shirt. Oh, those, oh, those are face. thumb holes. Yeah, man. This is a, a nice little running base layer. I love those sweatshirts. Yeah, it's comfy. Cozy. Bet. Comfy. Cozy. You got any plans to do any of the uh, the Triple Crown trails? I thought about it, man. We, I, I want to do the AT, and I want to do it in a really interesting way. I and I'm not trying to break a land speed record. Some guy just hit it in under 30 days. You see that shit? That fucking no, guy. No, under 30 I mean, days? It was under 45. Yeah. It was, it was String fast. Yeah. String me. Dude, unbelievable. He, guy was yeah. running the whole time. That's a phenomenal <laughs> feat of strength. I don't ever want to be that small he, again. He didn't run the whole time. I mean, he but slowed dude, down he was running like 80% of the way. Probably. He slowed down to talk to a couple people that we Yeah, but that's like 80% that. of that trail. That dude was fucking hauling, dude. Yeah. But I want to do it. Shout out to Trisha. Yeah, shout out to Trisha. And feel bad, Alex. Yeah, she started the no drinking thing. She was a week late though. She was a week late. <sighs> she only made it three she's, days. She's like, I love you, Trisha. Well, she's on day three. She said she didn't yeah. say she was stopping. No, she said it's been three days, oh. and that's no. That means she's gonna so. still go. Anyway. So yeah, I don't know if you heard if you heard that episode, but we had a. Mother daughter team that mother daughter team. I missed that the episode. AT. It's still there. Bro. Sick. Yeah, I'll go look it up. Yeah, yeah. Again, uh, time podcast. She's a long time, <laughs> uh, like a long time friend of my wife. My wife has known her. They used to work together way back, and uh, she's one of those people, kind of like you. She's like she was for a long time trying to find her place, and mm. you know she found it. And her and her daughter went on. What was it? Four months and one day. They said. They did the yeah. the entire trail. They started in Georgia and went all the way to Maine, yeah. and they they saw yeah, a string. That's awesome, man. Yeah, they, they, they saw a guy. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. They, I, that's what I was like, saying. Pew. He didn't run no, the whole time. It's no. actually a funny story, which I I kind of want to make you uh, go back. But yeah, so this you need to go back and to I go back. Uh, no, what she's saying is she was eat, she had like a peanut butter bar or something as <laughs> as they were talking. Almond butter. And, uh, almond. Yeah, it was almond, almond butter. butter. And then uh, as after he like you know moved on and carried on, she's like shit. Probably should have like offered him some of that bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that oh, almond butter. butter. No, so, that, that's my point. That guy had everything planned out. I bet oh, that dude yeah. had like how many energy packs he has, how many. They thought they of food. did too. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So like that guy didn't need that bro, that bar. That guy had 
everything calculated down to the last minute of movement probably. You know what I'm saying? Like no, he's probably like, no, I'm good. I don't need that heavy right? protein. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. need that heavy bar you have there. I have this super light viscous gel. I'm going to suck it out of my mouth and drink water. And I'll be good for the next six hours. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that dude had that shit figured out, man. They did it. They did it uh, with. They tried to plan it, and apparently it was a learning experience from day one mm. on. Mm. <laughs> where As most the, adventures usually are. Yeah. Yes. So like uh, day one, they were dumping gear, and like sending it back yeah. out, and you know, <laughs> taking they what they really whatever. need. Yeah. Speaking of adventures, when are we going camping this year? I don't know the date for the, the – I don't want to go to Bowman Island again, man. <laughs> Is that the same one that – Yeah, that island just has really weird energy, dude. Like, yeah, I heard really you guys uh, – when Jonathan was on, energy. I heard you guys had uh, visitors dude, that we didn't yeah. have. So I'm sure that threw it off. And, uh, but think about the first year. Alex goes down with a fucking head wound, like a, a yeah, hatchet wound in the forehead. Very, very different. Like literally the island came alive and fucking slapped him in the head with a 50-pound foot or fifty pound pole. And then the second year, this is what gets so weird, man. Dude, these two fucking guys, sorry for swearing again, are walking are walking by our campsite. And we and I'm like, cuckoo. Cuckoo. Ah ah ee ee tookie tookie. I'm making noises to just being a dick, right? And all of a sudden I hear like in the distance and I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like somebody Hey, you know, we kinda make a noise and that was it. Of course, that's just me being the social butterfly that I am. I love meeting people and just being me, right? And these fucking guys disappear. They come walking back, and they just walk up on our camp. It wasn't like we were like, hey, come hang out with us. It was just, they just walked up on our camp. I think it was because of my friendly nature and the, in, in the, the bird calls. You know, like we were mating is, that the, is what I think they thought. <laughs> mating calls. Dude, I think they were like, oh, they're calling us over there, man. Some cat calls. Some cat calls. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. The so these two dudes walk up on our camp. Tensions. Wasted. Wasted, dude. I'm talking like dangerously wasted to be standing around a fire like tipsy turvy oh i've seen him and this fucking dude man so the one guy real intense energy really like obsessively intense energy so it's it's me in a circle so it's me paul then jonathan and then carl and um yeah because it was only his four and um that could be wrong actually am i missing someone i don't think i am but yeah so and, yeah i said paul okay. so i'm okay. standing there and we're just hanging out like, oh, hey, you guys come here often? We're like, no, not really. We come here like, you know, we came here last year. It was our first year. This is our second year. We're going to make it a yearly thing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so Carl was like telling the story of last year. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> I love telling stories. Let's go. So I, just, I start telling the, the story about how fucking Alex almost died on this island, how I saw another man's skull at this point out of combat. You know what I mean? Like this this is a fucking crazy experience. Oh, yeah. And oh, so. Yeah. Shit got real, real Yeah, quick. yeah, dude. Like I remember at one point being on that water being like, if we go in the water right now, <laughs> no one will ever know. Like, none of us had life jackets. I had put air, like, I, I took, took my uh, my waterproof bags and put fucking air in them so, so that if Alex fell in the water, he could at least hold on to it because he was the one with the head wound. I'm a really good swimmer. I don't know if Jonathan is, right? So I'm like, yo. So, so we had like six to eight inches of water in the fucking boat. And we're like, I, I was just like, dude, if we go down, man, like, this boat is going to, because the water was white capped, dude. Like, white cap, huge waves, horizontal rain smacking us in the mouth. The tide had changed, dude. So when we came out, we rode the waves into the island. Or no, we, we, we paddled slightly against the waves. But when we came around the top side of the island, we were thinking that the waves were going to be coming in that general direction because they were we paddled against them on the way out, right? The tide was coming this way now, dude. It's crashing into the island. And so we came around the top side of the island thinking we we're going to ride the waves and just instantaneous gut check. And it was like... Oh my God, we have two miles to go. I'm up front. Now, hindsight being 2020, I probably should have steered because of, you know, I, I have experience steering a canoe with my grandfather. And I'm just like, dude, I'm paddling as hard as I fucking could. I went into a position. I know it was cold, dude. It was, what was it, late October, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was Col October. Columbus Day weekend. Yeah, dude. So <laughs> it, was it was after that dude, because they pulled the, the dog. camps? Who camps in Octo <laughs> late October in adventurous, fucking New Hampshire? Adventurous. Adventurous people. Idiots. We was adventurous. Exactly. We were adventurous. We were ready. We were ready for death. Adventurous, yeah. Not adventurous. It's well, we were hey. Avengers also, but it was, you, you were Avengers. Up. You know what we, we Oh, definitely Avengers. After the shit got real, homeboy took dude, a shot. For to real, the man. Yeah, I know. So he goes down, dude. I'm like, oh, I'll probably sleep this off. I walk over. I didn't think that at all. I, as soon as I heard that, dude, it sounded like an aluminum little league baseball bat hitting a pumpkin, dude. It was like, dink, and also a, all mixed in one. It was the weirdest sound I ever heard in my life. Holy crap. We got to isolate that. <laughs> oh, no. You're not doing audio anymore. No. Damn. 
Oh, that well. was a good sound. That would have been great. I could do that sound. Again. We could we could switch that same sound back to the whole jerk and clean. Cons. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, long story short, we came around the island. We paddled real hard. We got to the we got to the the, the, the boat kind of came out and picked us up. And that was pretty awesome. So I'm telling this they story to, to the dudes. And then one dude is not even paying attention. He's staring at Paul, who wasn't even there last year. Now I'd made this I had made this explicitly clear in the story. I had said. So these two were here. Paul wasn't here, but you know, you know, Paul's our homeboy. You know, he's 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 with us now. Blah blah blah. Whatever. This dude's like, yeah, yeah, you weren't there. Or you were there? Was it crazy? Was it intense? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you hit the head, huh? Like I'm talking, dude. I I watched this and I was like, gonna be a rumble in the jungle. What the <laughs> fuck is this guy's deal? Now it was one of two options. One, this dude was sizing Paul up, and I thought he was gonna sucker punch him at some point. Like I just I didn't understand. Like the energy was so weird. Or the other option was. He was going to whip something out. And <laughs> he was trying to, like, see if Paul was into him. You, Do you know what I mean? Were you calling me? Was it you? <laughs> was it you? Were you the one calling were you my the name one, with, I... your, with but your yeah. cuckoos? <laughs> no idea where that came from, but love it. Thanks for that entertainment. I love that. That was cool. Keep going. <laughs> no, yeah. we can't. It's no. got to be organic. <laughs> oh, cool. Sorry. Sorry, but I love that shit. But anyways. Um, so That's I'm why we sit across from so each finally, other now. So finally, Paul, I watched Paul go from, like, chilling. He's like, yeah, confident, cool. Start getting a little unsettled. He's like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks when people just fucking. He's doing this. So he's doing this, and he's like, he's you know he's un, he's uncomfortable, and finally, dude, I watched Paul like completely surrender his burrito, uh-huh. and I felt so bad. I watched it happen, and instantaneously, Jonathan like fucking Rambo came into this thing. He's like, <laughs> so so Paul goes, hey man, you want my burrito? Now there are only like three burritos or four burritos or whatever. It's one burrito per person. Yeah, and Paul just offered it up. As the right thing to do, right? Treating others as though thyself, right? He was doing a beautiful thing. This guy, hey man, you want my burrito? Like, you hungry? I, I like mixed in with a little bit of discomfort. And Jonathan swoops in, dude, goes, uh, no, I think I'm gonna have to shut, I'm gonna refuse that offer. <laughs> Guys, I think you've worn out your time here. It was, it's been a pleasure talking to you, but no, it's like that. <laughs> Shit that puts guy. his hand out, I, I know, puts right? his fucking hand out, dude. And these guys are like, they're like, uh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, yeah. See ya. Have a good night, man. They disappeared. My paranoid ass. I'm like, those motherfuckers. Dude. I'm talking to Carl. Like, Carl's feeding me, dude. Yeah, Carl's Carl, feeding. Because no. Carl and I are very similar in our, our, our like creative thinking. We're both uh, we're both have a military background. We've been in situations where we had to. Like, they are uh, sitting in the bushes yeah. right now watching so, dude, I start, burrito. I start going. I'm like, yo, do you think those dudes were probes? Because the first thing they did was they walked up and they volunteered information to us that their buddies had fallen asleep and they were bored. If that's not gonna let down people's fucking guard, mm. I don't know what will, dude. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, I don't like this, dude. I don't fucking like. I don't like what just happened. Because when they left, they didn't have lights. When they walked off our campsite, they turned their lights off, dude, and they walked all the way back to their camp with no lights. They had night vision. So this is where shit gets weird. So I'm doing my thing. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm gonna go check out the woods real quick. So I kind of fade off into the shadows, and I walk around like a, like a slow disappear into the dark. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Dude. I literally like. I, I'm gonna go I, check this. I backpedaled into the fucking like like Homer Simpson. That, that meme. <laughs> Yeah, you know, what I mean? you know what I mean? I come back out, I have war paint on. It's like, what happened to Troy, man? We never saw him again. But anyway, uh, so burrito. I back into the fucking, back into the sh- the shadows. And I just sat there, man. I just sat behind this one tree where, like, no matter how big the fire got, I wouldn't be silhouetted. I just sat there and I was like, yo, where, what the hell is going on right now? And I heard crunching, dude. And I didn't even tell these guys this. I heard crunching. And I swear, dude, I saw movement. But I don't know if I did. I, I don't know if I did, but I thought, like, dude, I saw, like, down by where the trail meets down, uh, the main trail, right? I saw something just kind of shift. Could have been an animal, but we're on an island, dude, half a mile from shore. They can get there. They can get I'm there, they can. but not in the storm that, or like in the choppy like September waters, dude. Like mm. they're not doing that in cold ass water, man. You know what they're doing? They're hunkering down, man, and they have no reason. And this is a tour, like a, like a touristy lake with Probably like boats is, and yeah. shit. Like nothing big was coming across that water. Not to this fucking island. No, yeah. I will so, never look at camping the same again. No, no, no. So, so dude, so I, I go back to camp. I'm like, let's go for a walk. So we fucking leave. We go for a walk. And we start walking. I'm like, dude, I don't like the way this is feeling, man. I feel like those dudes were sizing us up. I, was, I felt like they were sizing us up in this weird way. And I'm not a very fearful or par- paranoid person, but I felt in my gut that something was off. Right? Did you bring your thing? What? The thing that you brought last year? No. No. Okay. My uh, lightsaber. See, I, I always trust. I always trust that feeling. 
anytime I get a if I get an off feeling about anything, yeah, I so our always auras, roll with auras it. are very real, man. When you when you meet someone and you generally oh, your you, energy's you linked, can tell when shit's you going know yeah. whether I vibe with this person or I don't vibe with this person. Yeah. Or this person's got low energy, or this person's got really high energy. You, you know that almost instantaneously. Yeah. You know is this person in a good mood or a bad mood. We don't really know how we know because we've forgotten how we know it, but we know it. <laughs> that was quote that. Yeah. yeah. And so anyways. <laughs> Cut. So, yeah, yeah. And paste. So, anyways. <laughs> Promo. Um, we start walking. Dude, we're red lens lights. We're not even white light, white lens lights. We're going real slow and smooth. We start hearing, like, talking in the distance. And we see a little bit of lights. We all we kill our lights, and we take a knee. These four dudes, and I don't even think these were the same dudes, were sitting in their campsite at, like, 1130 at night with no fire in fucking September. Jesus. What? Maybe they had sweatshirts. On. So I was like, yeah, maybe they had the yeah. And that's not super weird. But after that that first interaction no, that's back at the camp, like, my 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 maybe my feathers were ca- were fluffled. You know, I was anybody like, camping without a fire going at night, especially that time of year, that's weird. Well, maybe they were going to bed. No, this, no, this you is have a point. fire going. We sat there for like a solid almost ten minutes, and we observed these guys. They didn't get up. They didn't fucking speak. They were sitting in chairs, and that was oh, it, they were dude. all passed out. It, Fire died. Dude, that dude, right there, I know weird. exactly what happened. Like, I've seen this. I've seen so, this story. So, so <laughs> we, we that's make, starting to sound more like our amateur. Was yeah, somebody yeah. Sur- completely surrounded by Slim Jim rappers? No, man. All right, oh, that's, that's what happened with us. That's awesome, though. But anyways, so then one of us starts getting up, and they start walking around. Then they hear they heard something, and they shine their flashlight in the woods, and they start like coming towards our direction. So we just kind of boogied out. It was just really fucking odd, dude. The next morning, we get up, right? So we go back to the campsite. We go to bed. Carl camps in his baby right outside my, my single-person tent. And uh, and Paul and Jonathan, I think, slept in, in their tents. And so – or maybe Jonathan's big-ass tent. And so what wound up happening was the next morning, we wake up. We go walk by that campsite. It's four dudes, neither of the two that we saw earlier that night. That's weird. Isn't that weird, dude? Hmm. And there was there was no other camper on the island. Maybe they there was a there was a group of kids. It was just a fucking weird. I can't really. I haven't wrapped my head around that week uh, that night because it was so awkward and so uncomfortable. How good could you see the people? Dude, our fire was rip roaring. We could see their faces clear as day, like clear as day. I knew. I, yeah. I can still remember their faces a little bit. And so like the next day when we were like, yo, those dudes are like in their fifties. Like the dudes we saw the night before were like maybe thirty, late thirties, early forties. Like hmm. weird shit, dude. It was weird, man. But anyways, that was that night, and that was. Uh, but yeah. Real quick, though, I wanted to say, hi, mom. <laughs> um, that that camping trip is very different than the camping trips uh, that I've been on. Like, I feel bad that I did not was not able to attend last year's. Yeah, <clears throat> um, don't. Huh? Don't feel bad. I I I do like that first one. I don't like. I talked to uh, when Carl was on with Mike. Uh, and, and even Jonathan, like that, that camping trip actually helped f- form this. It gave me uh, confidence to do this into interacting with all those other people. Yeah, man. Like for, for a lot of uh, my life, I was a, an asshole and self in, in, in my small tribe. And he was the other kind of asshole. Oh. Yeah. The, kind yeah, the honest talk- asshole. Yeah, yes. not, not the honest asshole like me. He was just a straight up asshole. I say dick. All right, we'll go with Dick. I was, That's a, a, I was yeah. a dick. You were cool. a dick. It was all, cool. it was all, all nuts and dick. <laughs> You're the asshole. <laughs> I am the asshole. <laughs> nice. So I'll let people take that where they want. You go um, where you want with that. <laughs> and like our camping trips, they're fun. Like I love my tribe, my people. Mm. I'll do anything for them. But I've only known that tribe. So joining the gym and venturing out and, and meeting you guys and then going on that camping trip uh it was right after we had talked about doing the podcast, yeah. and mm. and that was like a be, month after, two months uh, two after, two months after yeah. August, September, uh, yeah. we went October. So mm. doing that and and talking to all those different people that I've never spoke to before, like outside of the ones at the gym or Carl at the bar. If I right, talked right. to him like that, that meant a lot and gave me confidence, knowing that I could. This is something I can do, Talking and that. and I started. That started changing. Like this is what I want to do, aiming towards that, being finding out who I am and 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 using that. And uh, I don't know. We're fucking. We're doing all right. Well, this making al- changes. Fucking live stream cameras. Yeah, following well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this shit, alone is to taking figure me it out. Of my... But but we're creating something. Yeah. 
but I I just wanted you. I, that's why I like having you come on. I mean, you were you were one of the first people I went to. Was like, I'm doing a podcast. I want you to come <laughs> yeah. on. Fuck yeah. Second second guest. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, it's, yeah. It's been a huge evolution, man. It's cool yeah, you, in here. It's you've like, got whoa. to see it through through all different stages. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, for sure, dude. So I'm a big fan of it right now, man. It's, it's definitely bad. a learning experience. Like this this thing has definitely. I mean, I wanted to do it just as much as he did in the beginning when we were talking about it in this and. When he finally, when he was just like, all right, we got a deadline. We're going to get this done. All right. Well, I guess we're getting this done. Yeah, man. And I mean, this, I mean, I'm, I don't like being pulled out of my bubble, but this whole experience, like it pulls me out of my bubble. It, it forces me to talk to people that I normally wouldn't talk to. Yeah, and man. I learned a lot of shit like along the way so far. It's, it's only been eight months or whatever. And the yeah, people yeah. we've talked to, like I've learned something from. Every person that we've had come through here. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, I've just learned stuff. Just him and I talking. You so know, the just moral the experience of what you're saying is that at the end of the comfort zone is where you start to learn things. Yes. Like, well, I mean, you can learn you stuff in live. your bubble too. I mean, there's books and internet and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sitting not at home. Not learning the things you need to <laughs> Being learn. Being an you're introvert. Learning, you're learning the things you're comfortable <laughs> learning, man. It's that discomfort and that, that uncomfortable learning atmosphere is where you grow as a person, man. Yes. When you say, holy fuck, this scares the shit out of me. I'm really uncomfortable right now. You're also saying, I'm alive. You know and I mean? uncomfortable. No, no, no. But that discomfort <laughs> is a byproduct of being alive. Yes. I love discomfort because it reminds me that I am. Right? Yes. If I'm not, dis- if I'm not uncomfortable, am I, really, am I really being or doing anything of value? Like, or I anything? would say like the, the doing like CrossFit competitions, like that, that puts yeah, you that on changed some my tests, life. man. Mm. I did it. It With did. You watching me. Watching, <laughs> watching you do it changed my life. life. It made me know. know that I never wanted to do it. <laughs> I know his kids were like, "Damn, he's strong, huh?" Dude, yeah, it's, and it's I'm fun. I'm fucking nothing compared to some of these. I uh, now they're like, he's probably the fastest to roll down a hill. Yeah, yeah maybe watching pick, <laughs> dude, Quinn. that was fucking amazing. Yeah, seeing man. his workout at the open, I was like, "Holy shit!" Dude, he's come so far. Man. Yeah, so good for, far. Good for him. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's awesome. I, I I did watch some. I watched you work cool. out. I noticed that you weren't doing no. Uh, no judge on the open. Yeah, man. Like I, it's, it makes you want to do it. Slow, slow this. Year. I w- it will say it will like definitely uh, inspire you to be like, man, I want to go slang some weights. Fuck my. Yeah, blah, blah. I want to go sweat. Yeah, it's. Yeah, man. I will say when I w- I did go to the gym for that year and a half. I mean, it, 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 it was a, nice after like after the first <clears throat> month or two where it sucks. You know, getting your body in a conditioning state where you can start like making progress. It starts to yes. feel good, but yes, but there is a different animal. Like I will say, working in like a group setting. Oh yeah, like CrossFit's that, a totally different thing than what I did. I, I mean, I just went to the gym. But any type of group like workouts fucking, would be. Yes, yeah, you would that, hope would it's be the idea at, of shared suffering, thing. right? Yeah. That shared shared suffering, that shared trauma, if you will, because um, what is exercise if not trauma? Um, is where you create psychological barriers and like almost sort of reliances on each other. Where it's like, if I'm struggling and you're already done, I know you're going to cheer for me and say, come on, Troy. So I'm like, I need, I feed off that. It's like, yeah. I can't let him down. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like an experience that is very unique to team sports and the military. And it's kind of that one thing that sounds crazy. It's kind of that one thing I've looked for my entire life. That's why I bounced around sports so much. I was really good at baseball when I was younger. Then I stopped playing baseball and started playing other sports. I started wrestling, playing lacrosse, football. I did all these different sports looking for that far-off place where everyone knows your name. Cheers. Right? (laughs) No, No, but think about it. So then I went in the military. There was a glimpse of it there. When I got out of the military, man, I used to think CrossFit was the closest thing to the military, and I missed the military because the military was somehow higher than CrossFit, dude. That was the biggest lie I ever told. And it was, what it really was is that it was the closest to the suffering of the military, the physical suffering and the trudging through things and being miserable. But it was so much more in that it was organic and real and it was full of love. And across the is full of love. You know? Yeah. So, and that's the human experience that everybody misses and everybody forgot is forgetting that they're looking for every single day. It is always awesome to talk to you. <laughs> You, I mean, it's just every conversation. I don't know what to say is good. after you like close out. I know, shit. right? Like, <laughs> you'd, feel, you'd make a good lawyer. You just know how to like close the argument and be like, "Wait, what? What the <laughs> fuck just happened?" Yeah, I, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> where am I? 
Sorry, that was me playing footsie with, with you there. I'm just impressed that your leg reaches all the way down to Bitch. that part of the table. I mean, that's oh, almost damn. at the uh, grand. Oh, man. You should uh, choke slam through this table someday. <laughs> no, well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, where are we at for time, sir? We are at an hour 13. Hour 13. Is that perfect? Well, it's a pretty good number. Damn. So what'd you think? Of which one? I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanna be honest here. That's I right. have not watched my two homework episodes of Black Mirror. You bastard. You I, that? Oh, I, I watched know. a couple episodes. Dude, holy shit. That's my homework. The new season, right? yeah. He finally did his homework. The first episode but... was fucking cool, dude. Okay, the, so the Star Trek ish one. Now yes. that now that I got a second opinion in here for that show, because I know you watch it too. I've never seen a single episode. They're all good. Okay. He gave me homework, really which is watch two episodes, any two episodes. Mm. What seasons should I pick an episode from? The most from? recent season. And you should okay. watch episode one, okay. which is the Star Trek episode. <laughs> yep. And I forget what number it is, but it's the one with the dating episode. The dating he episode. said it was – what was the other one, one you suggested? That is probably – that dude, if that's not a that forecast a fucking, for where humanity is going. That was some crazy shit. Yeah. I, I said Metalhead. I liked Metalhead. From that that was the one that you told me about. The black and white one. With the robot, I see. I'd be into that. Dynamic. I didn't see that didn't one. Watch that one. Watch that I, one. Dude, that's fucking. It's it's a cool artsy one. Yeah. But it's it's still. I mean, like they, they, there's a robot and... that can eat fucking is was designed to make, eat the uh, dead bodies off a battlefield from Boston Dynamic. By Boston Dynamic. Wow. The, uh, there the is dogs. A, they, yeah. They have a robot that is, will eat. Uh, was it organic? Or biological wow, fucking is that real? Substance. Yes, yeah. dude. The Boston Dynamic Dogs. They were doing it to create for the military for so to clean up a fucking battlefield. Hold on a second. When was the last time we had a battlefield that was slewed with bodies like that? That any was like time. fucking huh? At any time, like ah, they're dude. saying they can go in. I know, but what I'm saying is, when the fuck have we ever needed that? Oh, we probably don't. We do, but not yes. now, but, but sometimes you just think of stuff. That's just like, some mad scientist in a lab that hasn't been outside in 316 days, and he's like, yeah, "I'm gonna make a robot that eats bodies." You know what I mean? Like, there's no practical use to that. Like, dude, some of those cool ass fucking donkeys, pack mules that can take people's gear and carry it up mountains. That's fucking cool, man. That's like, that's really cool because that would save time. It's a lot easier to program a robotic dog than it is to train a donkey, though. I mean that's no no I'm saying the pack mule robots have you seen Uh, those no they're robots they're basically donkey bodies like they're like horse bodies with no head and they just fucking Boston Dynamics dude they have have the fucking what's the one that stands up what's the person one it's got a name oh uh, for the Boston Dynamics it's like one that does the flip dude you can you can like kick it in the side and auto corrects you can put on ice and variable terrain it stays on two feet always dude yeah like those are not like the AI though are we not robots ourselves biological. Are we not robots ourselves? That's what it's called. I'm gonna go no. We're not. So what? No. What well, causes? Are you just talking about that well, we're already cyborgs, right? You weren't. Let me ask this question. Anything? Well, we're already cyborgs because, and that was only just by the fact that we have any. We're only cyborgs by extension. Like by putting this in our hands, we have more information and more access to shit than we had 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, right here, years. like. So when That's you what I mean by right cyborgs. There, so you could just see it out one but, eye. So it's and, the but they right. have started doing that shit. And that's where we go back to the whole playing God thing. But, but <laughs> the, what that. I was getting what I was getting to was the the what did you think about the the documentary that we that you watched? The expose. It's not a documentary, it's you an expose. Unacknowledged. Unacknowledged? Um is that the alien one? Yes. Yeah, I've seen the first With Steven Greer. Yeah, yeah. Steven Greer's a weird dude. He is a weird dude. I like him, but he's, he's got like so many degrees, but he he's like, like alien. he he's looks awkward. like a character in like a disinformation effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. let's make people look he looks like someone that probably works for like the secret space program that's like super underground we and is like the reason for UFO sightings, but the dude, one the Tom DeLong I don't know much about it, honestly, man. That's a that's a whole rabbit hole I never dove down. It was like because I you I am very selective over the rabbit holes that I dive down. Fair enough. I oh, you should many. be, right? Yeah. But, yeah. But There's so many of the them. Super, they call it the super duper <laughs> secret space program. So it's the super duper secret space program. I'm like, come on, man. You come up with a better fucking name than it's that. It's like, like a super friends villain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Psh, but anyways, friend. so I don't know, man. I, I, I think that UFOs and aliens are just a distraction again also. I just, well, but well that's what the whole thing goes I, into. Huh? No, I think, I think they, they exist. exist. 
But I think the more we focus on them, again, we're trying to explain something that's inexplicable. It's not something we'll ever understand fully until we get there ourselves. Well, see, the undertone of the whole thing. I think it's more it's let's find. Again, I don't think we can because I think – you want to know what I really fucking think about UFOs? You want to go down this rabbit hole? Okay. I think they are us in the future. Ooh, that's a good one. I think they are us in, in a, I don't believe just time a dimensional is thing. I don't think time. Yes, absolutely. I don't think yeah. time is linear by any means. I no. think that every possibility that has ever been is now or could ever be already exists right now. Mm. And that we choose through our consciousness which reality to project, which which world to live in because we are nothing more than light. If you put your hand on a table, there's no – if you – Analyze this at an electron microscope or at a, a, a light level, a light, light wave level. There's no separation between my hand and this bench. Dude, we're a hologram. We are consciousness living itself. We are being human. And our lives are nothing but giant stories. But their stories are lies. Everything we ever attach to in our life is a lie. And before it all ever happened, you were. I was, you were, we were, because at the end of the day, we are all one consciousness. I believe that shit. I go into this world. I go into this world very often when I like journal and write and draw, and I think that UFOs are conscious beings from another existence that is already existing now, <laughs> another dimension, another realm that exists right now that remembers how to dive into realms and how to how to access wormholes, right? But it's still all one consciousness. It's all one. Existence. So how do I get to see the wormhole? You have to elevate your consciousness. Time. We have to elevate our consciousness. So how well, do we the do thing that? with All collectively, together, right? Well, that's so. This is where things get really crazy. If you want to go there, man. Yeah, I mean that's. Well, yes. the thing with him though, we're not is, recording this, right? Because yeah, we this are. Gets really, oh, this. oh, we're still live streaming. All right, we're live streaming. Um, so right, the cool. thing it's, with him is, and I watched, I've watched it probably six or seven times. Where he starts with his whole. Uh, interest and quest in this whole thing is just to be part of a uh a committee to have peaceful interaction yeah when with the time comes but this what is it, the thing they will never want peaceful reaction with someone whose actions are not peaceful the human right. species as a collective organism is not peaceful and that's what he goes through the whole thing is that it's not that they're showing us that they're hostile it's they're seeing that we're hostile yeah. and then like it goes through from he starts off his whole career in this thing as part of a a committee to have peaceful interactions and communications yeah, with anything that comes from here like comes here shut off yeah. all right we can we can wrap this up and uh, then you can still see him on that one. Oh yeah yeah okay and then it progresses through his through his you know finding stuff out and the stuff that gets released into that whole disclosure project. That's not originally what he wanted to do. It's a distraction project. And then he goes into that and it be it ending with making people aware of the final false flag that our government is trying to pull over our eyes. The alien attack. Which, the alien attack. Yeah. Which is the to, final one because to collect, he goes to, to through all of us under one world organization. So don't if we the want world that. is fighting aliens, and that's we what will come he does. That's what he that's finishes. What they, with. That's what they think. That's what they think, man. But I don't think it's gonna get there, man. So how do we get everybody? Well, that's where the whole April that, 18th thing starts. That's where you talk about in. rapture, dude. You ever heard about rapture? Yes. Every fucking religion talks about rapture, right? Yes. That there will come a day where peace and prosperity is on the horizon, and everything looks beautiful, and then in an instant, it goes to shit. It all goes to shit. Yeah. Uh, so hold on a second. So my point is you asked how to elevate the consciousness. You or I cannot do that necessarily. We have to do it collectively, right? As one person elevates their consciousness, so too does the consciousness of others. It's the idea of if you succeed and I celebrate it, then I'll eventually succeed because you'll celebrate me. Same idea with the golden rule, right? Like if I'm celebrating your conscious evolution, then I'm essentially by law of averages celebrating my own. How how will you be able to tell everybody's So Rapture success? talks about getting rid of half the world's population. Oh, because we can't all we can't. And think so of you have high vibrational beings and you have low vibrational beings, and there are ha- uh, habits. And Alex, believe it or not, alcohol is a low vibrational thing. It lowers. It's a depressant. It's a very ho hum, low dense vibration, right? 
So that's one of the reasons I stopped drinking was because I remember, I remember drinking even just one beer. I would feel heavy. And when I don't drink beer, I feel light. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's me. That's not to say that anybody can't do it. But if, you, if there are no, like things that you know are low vibrational things, i.e. alcohol, i.e. certain types of you know, pharmaceutical drugs and, and stuff like that, even sometimes music and, and, and the way you speak and the people you surround yourself with, we are all laws of average because we're all electrical beings, man. And so if you want to ri- increase your vibration, you have to change your tribe. You have to change the music you listen to, the things you think about, the types of things you do as a hobby. All this stuff has to change, right? You want to be successful? So you surround yourself with successful people. Misery loves company. We all know those phrases, right? And so <laughs> it's no different, this rapture idea, than a tree that's outgrown its low-lying branches. At some point in time, those branches are no longer serving the growth of the tree, and they get shaken off. And they disappear to the ground, and they get fed back into the system. Hence the tree of life, right? I think that before we ever get to a point where we're talking with aliens about fucking peace and prosperity in space, that's going to happen. And how that takes place, I have no idea. It could be a massive war of, of global proportions. Fighting aliens. No. Well, <laughs> no, I think... And I, that's, what they, that's what that whole thing ends with is that that's what we're going we're gonna to come to where the government starts to fake these... Alien We've been there for years, invasions. Man. False false flags have been happening for years. Oh yeah. But and, like and look it at goes Syria. Look at Syria right now. What do you think about Syria? I think it's bullshit. Oh, I, I think it's bullshit too. 100 percent false flag. I mean it's heartbreaking to see people have to go through that, but I think have it's guys, all a political. I'm gonna ask quote. you a question that is gonna sound very weird. Have you guys heard about this QAnon phenomenon? The what? QAnon. Yeah. Huh. Dude, go into Q. that go into that rabbit hole. Go into that rabbit hole for a, just give give it one solid day. Sorry about Q. Q. Yeah. Q and on. Yeah. Q anonymous. There's some things he. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you seen the. Do you know how to get. Like, can you know how to access all the posts? No. Go to qanon.pub. Check it out. Check it out, man. It is the wildest rabbit hole. And I, again, I believe nothing until I've experienced it for myself. So none of that I'll ever experience until it all goes to shit. Right? So basically, right now, what did the president just say about the attack in Syria? Oh, yeah. He went They're pulling fucking- out. <laughs> No, he's no, no. fucking gonna. Fucking no, no, no. I know he on, just said. I know he yeah. just said he wanted to make a strike, but before that, he wanted to pull out. Two thousand thirteen. There was the document fucking that was given to Barack about the same shit. They were gonna, there was a leaked document about they were gonna pull this false flag bullshit. It's the U.S. supplying it, and then they did the same. The dude right, right, yeah, sure. said Trump's like, "Fuck yeah, motherfuckers, let's ride." When we hit that button, dude. No. Yeah. Now slow he down, slow wants slow to slow strike, down, but before he wanted. Hold on. He's bluffing, dude. Oh, is he? He's bluffing so that the people who pulled off the attack for this exact reason, they thought Trump would be predictable. But he's not, dude. I'm telling you, man. This fucking guy is on If you go look at the posts, it talks about all – It's and I don't buy into shit. You, I'm a very skeptical person. So, so there was but a, it's fucking you see who fun. Retired today? It's fun as yeah. fuck. This dude, QAnon, predicted that shit. It's, dude, I'm telling you, man. It's weird as fuck. I don't, I don't like, I don't watch it very often. I've gone out like maybe twice in the last six weeks. But like when I heard about it, I was like, all right, I'm into this because I like to go down rabbit holes sometimes and learn weird shit. Yeah. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? There are some interesting correlations between the president's actions and the things that this person is saying, whether it's people or you know, per persons. But the message is that they say, you ever heard Ben Shapiro say Trump's playing 4D chess? Yeah. They're saying that Trump is is predicting the actions of these fucking deep state idiots. Do you know how many sealed indictments there are just now for fucking uh, human tra- sex traffickers in the U.S. government alone? I wouldn't doubt it. It's insane. Right. What did Trump just sign today? A bill that allows him to that allows the states to attack these sex traffickers. It's all coming together, man. He's fucking destroying these people who, at the very top levels, use kids for fucking pleasure. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me, dude. That's the world we live in, where kids, what porn and fucking porn stars wasn't good enough for you anymore. Now you have to fucking feed on oh, kids. They, well, they've been oh. feeding on kids for the whole time. Uh, like, they've been doing, yeah, look they, at, look they, at they, the they guys in the entertainment for, industry, right? Entertainment industry is going. Even beyond, even yeah, beyond. Yeah, back to the Roman Greeks. times, they were doing. Right, Pedro, like, Pedro, like, Pedro was a pederastia, where it was like a. Beyond that. Yeah, for sure. It's been nonstop. But this is my point. I think that is because what they're really what they're really feeding off with these kids is their fear. So I have a friend who's an ordained priest, left the priesthood or left left the order when they found out that 
the organization they were in had documentation and did nothing that people were sacrificing kids because of the it's called ad- adrenochrome or androchrome it's like an adrenal hormone that is only secreted in moments of incredible fear so these people were torturing and raping these children and then bleeding them out of this, this is already, chemical this is, and they were drinking their fu- this is where the legend of vampires comes from dude yeah actually just this goes I back. I just heard this too. This goes back forever, this? dude. I'm staying off the true crime stuff lately, man. That, that serial killer fucking podcast. <laughs> so my podcast point is, my point is, fucked me up, man. My point is, all this shit is coming to light right now. Yes. And who's doing it all? The fucking administration. Weirdly is, or not weirdly is is Trump. Right. Like it's it 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 is a weird weird thing. We live in interesting so, times. So he sent me a link a while back. Uh, about oh, the Baron, a, the Baron oh, Trump. Oh Jesus, and, dude! So that there is. There were these these books out in the early late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Uh, one was called The Adventures uh, or Baron Trump's Journey. Baron Trump's uh, uh, Journey Baron, to the Underworld, or yeah. something like that. And then the sequel to that was was called The Last President, and it's all about uh. A castle, a king in a castle on, mm. or not a king, sorry, uh, this place where Trump Hotel is way back then on Fifth Avenue uh, about a politician running that shouldn't have made it, wow. that made it. That's and cool. then, like, what year was it, it written? Uh, 19, uh, 1903, I think it was. Wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like it it's, and it so completely this is, predicts. This is one of the things I had love about stories. The Baron Trump was about the sun. Well, not the really, what was it? Uh, it was about right. a weird journey. The Baron. I believe that stories create conscious conscious shifts in humans. When you read a story and that story resonates with you, you then resonate with it like literally in a vibrational level. You start to vibrate at that level. And dude, I th- this is crazy. Look at the Simpsons, dude. The Simpsons is like predicting oh, yeah. the fucking future, yeah. man. It's creepy. And it's be- dude. How weird is this? This could also be. That whole, scary accuracy yeah, sometimes. Yeah, like it's very little, makes that, me that Trump one was, but was stories, spot the fuck on. Think about this. What did the Bible do? The Bible spread the word of the word of Jesus, right? The word of the Old Testament and the New Testament, and the word of yeah. God, right? It took everyone's conscious thought for thousands of years towards worshiping this thing. They prayed to God. They prayed to Jesus. They, but there were already people praying to God. For sure, for sure, for sure. I, that doesn't make them any less real. I'm no. just saying, when you have a, a, a percentage of the population that is over half of the world worshiping one thing, you consciously create it. So, like, this whole thing I'm talking about here with, like, the idea of rapture is, what if, dude, we wake up tomorrow and the world is on fire? Like California? No, I'm talking the world, dude. Like, oh, that'd be weird. Like, the entire United States is just blown to fucking shit. All major metropolitan areas. Well, then either I'm dead or I'm not. And if you're alive? Fucking, hopefully you're alive. Let's link up or some shit. Yeah. I'll be at the gym, dude. <laughs> Anyone listening to this right now? Hey, man, if the world blows up tomorrow because Trump fucking bombs somebody or doesn't, we're meet me across the earned. We're fucking. We're gonna wild do some out workouts. We're gonna need these squats because we're going yeah. We're gonna be in the mountains. Well, we go. We don't need roads. Anyways, we live in very interesting times. Chinese prophecy or Chinese, uh, yeah, prophecy says, "May you live in inter- interesting times." Dude, non-stop work. if you pay attention to it dude I love it we live in, we're living in a moving story constantly man but that's what I was saying about the QAnon phenomenon don't read that shit and just be like oh this is true just fucking dude it's fun it's fun man it's fun to read about fucking conspiracies and weird shit like that once in a while doesn't mean you have to buy it you know what I mean like I have a very skeptical yeah, brain about everything it, some of it is true when you start to see when when it lines up in more than than one things you know what I mean like, and I don't believe in coincidences no, is... no, I remember that from a previous episode. Go check us out. Uh, I'm going to stop it right there. We are in drop camera two. Uh, battery lives, Doodle. man. Uh, Batteries rule our lives. Thank everybody that tuned in. Find us on iTunes, Spotify, Androids. I know you're trying to look for it. Or your Facebook. I'm not sure what no, the fuck I'm you're trying doing to, right I can't now. remember if I sent it Why to you, you on Google text. Why don't Google the fucking thing? You well, know, I tried. Yeah, did, bro. Did bring up the video that I wanted. You I tried. It's just YouTube. I, don't know. I just got to go back to YouTube Anyways, and check my history. I'll, but I'll, I thought I'll, I'd text it I'll to you. I'll forward it to you. Cool. Um, yeah, hit me up. But it's a good time. Check us out on all socials. Check out CrossFit Earned if you're in town. Check out Kahunas if you're near or in town. I know Brandon DeKemp. Uh, you know yeah, who he is? Yeah, yeah dude. dude. He he watches, man. I didn't know he watched until he responded to an Instagram thing. Uh, awesome. I think that's cool shit. Uh, 
like I said, let us know when you're down at Abel. We'll come buy one. We didn't make it on the 30 day challenge. I will Good. say it again. I, you know what? Maybe next year. Wasn't the right time. Yeah, I mean, maybe do sober November this year. Sober November, you know? There we go. Maybe it just wasn't the right time, bro. Right idea, just run at the right time. Yeah, That's April it. during craft beer week and, you know, National yeah, Beer Day. Poor Hampshire, time to New have. Hampshire rubs it in your face like, yeah. bitch. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Troy, always a pleasure. Like always a friend. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You'll be on again when we move it around again. Cool. Some some other way. But it's I have like a how, camera well, that like, doesn't fall down. Yeah. It's like how we christen it. <laughs> it's fun. We move the fucking thing around. You know like how have Troy just in. Just an idea. Get that fucking 360 GoPro and put it right in the middle. How sick would that be, dude? Just a Live stream that shit. Have all like because have you seen those things? So it's I, a 3D one, so you can dude, do uh, yeah. the virtual. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, sponsors and stuff. Let's. Uh, we'll have to <laughs> get our numbers up and get them get them sponsors up. Cool. If you like what you saw, listen to, have fun, check us out YouTube. Get them numbers up to 100. Uh, peace, man. Peace. Thank you. <laughs>